In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a prototype using Figma. I'll show you a couple things today. We'll talk about how to just connect pages to one another so you can easily click through a prototype. And then we'll also talk about how to connect buttons like this app navigation bar or a button here to specific pages in a prototype. I am currently in design mode, but let's go over to prototype and you can find that on the top right, the prototype here. So now that I'm in prototype mode, if I just click the top of my app design screen, my frame. If you hover over the design, you'll start to see these circles up here with a little plus sign. Do you see that? So I actually want to connect this screen to the next screen. So if you click and hold and drag that little plus sign, it'll connect it to the next screen. You'll get a little pop up here too that says interaction and it says on click, I want to navigate to the app search page. You can also add animations. So there's some really nice uh, animation options like Smart Animate will just make your transition really smooth. Okay, so to start, we're just gonna connect each of these pages. So I'm gonna go page by page, just click the top, hover, find the plus sign and drag it to the next screen. And I'm just gonna do these in a row. We should now have a prototype that we can look at. So I'm gonna go to this first screen and on the top right, you can click the play button. And this will open a new window, which should show your first design. So we just set our prototype for clicking. So if I just click through this design, you can see the pages are going from one to another. So that's super cool. You can also use your arrows on the keyboard to go back and forth. Let's say that I want this home button to go back to the home screen every time. So if I hover over home, you can see it's selecting the icon and the text and I get that little plus sign again. So I'm just gonna click and drag it to my first screen. And yes, on click, we wanna navigate to the app home. So that's correct. So you can do this for each of our screens and make sure this home is connecting to that first screen. Okay, I'm just gonna do it for the first few. Now let's go back to our prototype and we can test this out and make sure this home button is working. So if I go to app home, do the same thing we did a minute ago, go to the top right and click the play button. It's going to open up a screen where you can see the prototype. And now let's go to an internal page. So if I now click the home button, you can see the little arrow, the little hand is turning into a different clicker. So that is gonna take me home. Now let's go to another page and click that home again. And there you go, it's taking me home each time. We've just been viewing these prototypes on just a black screen, but you can actually look at these prototypes on an actual device on your computer. So if I click this home screen and go back over to prototype, under show prototype settings, this button right here on the right, instead of no device, you can click down and go to a specific device that you'd like to view your design on. So my design is actually designed at 375 pixels wide. So an iPhone 13 mini is going to be perfect to view my design on, but you have lots of different options here. So let's click iPhone 13 mini and hit play. So we wanna make sure to select the design that we want to view in the device and go over here and click play. Okay, and we can now see our design on a mobile screen and we can click through. Obviously I have some issues here. I can't see my logo. This is really good to actually look at it on different device types that people will be interacting with your product. So that's how you create a prototype using Figma. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe to Cry Studio for more Figma and graphic design tutorials. Thanks so much.